What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass and today we have another electronics video for you. Today we are talking about down imaging and how you can apply it to your fishing to find the best spots in the lake, the best structure in the lake to put more fish in the boat. So down imaging, as you can see, it is a lot clearer picture than the 2D sonar. Now hopefully you guys have followed along this electronic series. I've talked about 2D sonar, I've talked about side imaging, cone angles, uh, what things look like, what fish look like. If you guys haven't seen any of those videos, we'll link those down below in the video description. I'll also link a few of them up here. But today we're talking about down imaging and how you can apply it to your fishery to catch more fish. Now. For those of you guys that are in the market for a new graph, a new unit, or those of you guys that have the capability on your current unit but are afraid to test the waters with the down imaging, today's video is for you. Now I typically always run my down imaging mirrored with my 2D sonar. As you can see, the clarity is so much better than your 2D sonar. Down imaging really gives you that photographic picture of the bottom. You can see these white spots right out here. Those are fish. Those are the air bladders that are registering on this, the uh, unit. There's a school of, of bait fish over here. But you can see when you compare 2D sonar with down imaging, you get a lot bigger picture. Now 2D sonar for me is easier to find fish. You're going to get that traditional arch. Uh, when, you, when the cone from your transducer goes over that fish, you're going to get that arch. Again, on the down imaging, you're going to get a white speck. Sometimes you'll get an arch, but typically it's a white speck. But how does down imaging apply to your fishing or how can you apply it to your fishing? Offshore fishermen, if you guys are rock pile fishermen, ledge fishermen, structure fishermen, you really need to be applying down imaging. You get a lot clearer picture. You know, it'll tell you if it's a tree versus just a, a pile of grass or a sunken boat. Now, typically, most units these days have two different frequencies, an 800 kilohertz and a 455. Now, I want to explain those. Typically, on most units, again, this has, this has the mega in imaging, so I'll talk about that in a second. But most units have 800 and 455. 800 is going to be your clearest picture in less than 50 feet of water. If you're in deeper water, up to 400 feet, go with the 455. If I'm fishing deep reservoirs and I want to see a, a hump or a rock pile down in 75 feet or so, I might switch over to 455. But again, 800 is going to give you a clearest picture. But this unit right here actually has Mega. Mega is the clearest out of all imaging right now, side imaging and down imaging. So what I'll do for you, I'm going to idle through this area again and get my dome out of the way, get my face out of the way so you guys can actually see this, the screen. But I want you guys to see the differences between your 2D sonar, your traditional 2D sonar, and the down imaging. Again, offshore fishermen, you just get a better view of what's really going on down there. Uh, you can see that chunk rock, the boulders, the separation between a tree branch and the fish. Whereas on the 2D sonar, you're just going to get a blob. So let's idle through here. I'll zoom the camera in on the screen and show you guys a few different things. Those are bait fish. You can see how clear that down imaging is. Uh, 
That's what the bait fish look like on 2D sonar, just a little arches. Got some fish over here too, right there. But on down imaging, you can also see them. But the structure, again, where the down imaging really shines is that target separation between the fish and the individual rocks. Just the clarity, the overall clarity of that transducer. You can see down here, we got some chunk rock. Down imaging, hopefully some of those shots, you could see how crystal clear that readout was with that mega imaging and that down imaging transducer. The, the difference between your traditional 2D sonar, what most graphs have, and then running that down imaging. Again, the benefit of running them stacked so I can compare stuff. If I see a blob on 2D sonar, I can hit that down imaging and it's gonna give me a crystal clear readout of what it is. Is it a branch, a sunken tree, a sunken boat? Down imaging, if you guys can afford it, if you guys are in the market for uh, electronics, a unit that has the capabilities of down imaging and side imaging, I definitely recommend it, especially if you guys are offshore fishermen. It just teaches you so much more about what's going on underneath the surface. Another cool feature, actually Minn Kota has, that new Ultrex, has the down imaging, that mega transducer built in to the head of the actual trolling motor unit. What makes that really cool, what's very special about that, if you guys like to video game fish or fish offshore, offshore rock piles, before your down imaging and side imaging uh, was, was built into a transducer typically off of the rear of the boat. So when you were running that view on your front electronics, you were getting the readout from the rear of your boat. You know, depending on your boat length, that could be anywhere from 16 to 21 feet, the difference. So it's a lot more accurate. Now you're getting the readout directly off the trolling motor, directly below the boat where you're fishing. If you're vertically fishing a jig or a flutter spoon or a drop shot, that sort of technique, that built-in transducer is awesome. One other key feature that really separates the 2D sonar and the down imaging is bottom composition. I touched on it in the side imaging video, but down imaging, when you're using that down imaging, that mega transducer, you get a better readout of bottom composition. If you're getting a real bright white readout, that is hard. If you're getting a real dark readout, that is soft mud. A lot of that is really hard to tell on your traditional 2D sonar. So again, this is just an entry level uh, explanation of down imaging and how you can apply it to your fishing. But hopefully with those few shots, some of the screenshots, you could see the difference in the clarity of that transducer. So hopefully that shed a little light on down imaging and how you can apply it to your fishery. Those of you guys that have this technology already in the unit, you guys go ahead and start using it. Those of you guys that are on the, on the fence of getting a new unit, uh, definitely look into getting one that has the down imaging slash side imaging capability. A lot of the transducers, it's a package, it's side imaging and down imaging, so you get the best of both worlds. But uh, the Helix unit is great, the Solix unit is phenomenal. If you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. And if you guys learned something or like this video, give us a thumbs up. But again, just an entry level overview of down imaging and how you can apply it to your fishery. We appreciate you guys. Have a good one.